Hello everyone, welcome to the video of the anatomy of a computer. And this video, uh, its goal is to overview the main components of the computer and it's going to include the topics of motherboard, CPU, RAM, hard drive, and the power supply. Now this video is not to tell you or teach you everything about the motherboard, RAM, CPU, RAM, hard drive, or the power supply. It's more to give you the introduction of what these components do and why these are the main components of Computer. So let's start off with the motherboard. So the motherboard, you can consider it as the body of a computer. It is um, defined as the main circuit board of a computer, and there are these three main functions that the motherboard does. First, it allows us to connect different components of the computer, and we'll be talking about within this module the, the different components, the main and the extra components you can add to a computer. And what the motherboard also allows us to do is to communicate between these components and just like a human body these different components need to work together so that our computers can be functional and lastly it allocates power to the different components as well and later on we'll be talking about the power supply unit and how it's connected to the motherboard and all those other components and it's the motherboard's job to properly give power to all our other components so that it can do its job and the next, one of the most important pieces of a computer is called the CPU, which is considered the brain of a computer. The CPU stands for Central Processing Unit, and it can also be called the processor. And it's, in grand scheme of things, the main function of the CPU is to compute instructions, commands, and calculations. Pretty much everything we do on a computer goes through the processors and it will compute the instruction or execute commands and do calculations so that we can use our computers to do fun things like play video games or even do work or schoolwork. Next we have the RAM. RAM is our short term memory. RAM stands for random access memory and is considered the temporary or short term memory for the computer and its main function is that it allows us to computer to store data for fast access. And to explain what more, um, more what a RAM does is that, um, so let's say we're doing a calculation, for example, two times five. In our brain, we're thinking of two times five. I mean, we need to store that in our brain, then execute it in our processor. Much like a computer, uh, we would put that instruction or um, command or calculation that we need to do on our RAM, two times five. Then it'll go to our processor, it'll process it, calculate it, saying two times five is 10, and put it back to the RAM so that we can access it and think about it and get the result. Also a little note, we'll talk about this later on, but RAM is considered a volatile memory. And what that means is that when I turn off my computer, anything that is stored in the RAM will be deleted and not accessible again. Unlike the hard drive. So hard drive is our long-term memory for the computer. Hard drive is the big storage that are meant for long-term use, and its main function is to store data. Within your hard drive, you uh, put your operating system, your software, your documents, music, videos, and pictures, and many other things that you can think of. And unlike RAM, hard drives are a non-volatile memory, where we stop giving it power, where we turn off our computer, and our data is still stored in our hard drive. And lastly, the most important piece of our computer is considered the power supply. It is considered the blood, oxygen, food, water, and pretty much energy for our computer. So um, the three letters or the acronym PSU stands for the power supply unit, and its main function is to supply enough power for all the compu components of the computer. And the PSU, a little note, is the most important part of the computer because if you don't have a good PSU, it can literally kill every component that you have plugged into the motherboard or plugged into the power supply. So it's very important that um, your PSU gives enough power, that has enough wattage, which we'll talk about when we go in depth with the PSU, and that it is a, actually a good PSU so that it won't kill your computer for a long, long time. And the best thing about a power supply unit is that if you buy a really nice one, you can continuously use it for your future builds after your first one. So that's it. Today we talked about the anatomy of the computer, which we were looking or getting an intro 
introductory definition of all of the main components that a computer requires. And those main components were the motherboard, CPU, RAM, hard drive, and the power supply. Thank you for watching and stay classy.